been so many gunshots for so many years that some people in Shreveport are becoming numb to the violence. But the violence me, bears the burden we all are paying. Yeah. The exact. From paganism. The problem is that they're not with that. That's how we talk about what's going on. Do you think that we plan the same? We plan the same. You see the army, and yeah, we the sons of God, and we stand with some. Israel. It's to have power with God and man prevail. You know that Israel the flex on the Jesus. They mad because I know why they rage. Yeah, they're the most high guy. So step on them, step on them, step on them. Where you going with? Genesis. Okay. You remember what, uh, what he said? I'm a bruise and surfing head. Yeah. Genesis. Go, go to uh, Genesis chapter 3. All right. Because he had asked a question about why all this stuff taking place. And I'm going to break that down. Go ahead. Go to Genesis. Okay. We're going to read this right quick. We're going to read this scripture. We're going to go to Genesis. Read. This is the book of First Samuel. Chapter 2, verse 3. Bring it out. Talk no more so exceeding proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. God said, hey, talk no more silly prayer. Let not arrogancy come out your mouth, right? Read on. For the Lord is a God of knowledge. A God of what? A God of knowledge. And by him, actions are weighed. He said, God is a God of knowledge, right? He said, by him, actions are weighed. When we went to Deuteronomy 28, he said, you don't do what I tell you to do because you're not listening and understanding, right? So I'm going to go to what he's talking about, and I want you to break that down. And we're going to go to John 3, 16. Read on. Go to it. Whatever, what, yeah, three, 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 three. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 3, verse 15. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman. Who is this talking about? Uh, no, who? Like who specifically in that, in that content? He's talking about Eve. You know, Eve. Between you and the woman, but Eve. But I'm going to go ahead and let no, I'm saying, who, what, what is this talking about? I'm, I'm confused right here. You need, let, me, <laughs> let me know this. What, 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 I'm, what, I'm, what I'm getting is that. No, I, look, look Pastor. I want to know what this talking about. I, I know you're going to go on the spell, but I want to know what this talking about. Okay. Read it one more time for me. You might have forgot. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman. Who is thee and the woman? <laughs> Huh? The woman, the woman represents us. The enemy, the enemy is Satan. Right. That's Satan. That's Satan. Okay. okay. That's the enemy. All right. All right. We're gonna read on. Read on. All right. Thy seed and her seed, it shall bruise thy head, and thy shall bruise his heel. What is that talking about? What is it talking about? Well, what happened is that. He, that's a prophecy, basically, a prophecy of scripture of saying a reason why. See, God didn't create Eve. All right. He didn't create Eve? He did not create Eve. Okay. The reason why all this stuff taking place because we was disobedient. He told us, don't eat from this whatever, uh, this fruit, whatever, and all that. And, 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 and she ain't, and he so, ain't. So you come to so, teach him? Yeah. But so we got the word of God. He, he, had, he, he, had, he said, we got the word said, of God right here. He said, why is this coming to faith? Because sin is in the word. We, we understand. We just broke that down to him. Yeah, yeah. But I'm going to show you something. I, Pastor, let me show you something. Read this. I'm going to show you in depth of what he was talking about, I'm going to show you in the scripture with somebody. Because they're going to put intimate between y'all, right? The so-called white man and the black man. That's what it's talking about. Esau and Jacob. I'm going to go in the scripture and show you. Read. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 25 and verse 22. Bring it out. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. So she asked the Lord. It was like, it was like her stomach, like, they going in there. Like, hey, what's going on? No, it's supposed to be from the Lord. I went, because she was supposed to have kids. She said, what's going on in my stomach? Read on. And the Lord said unto her, two nations. Two what? Two nations. Nations. Are we, are the Chinese man and uh, the black man the same nation? Two different nations, right? They got the same characteristics as us? What about mannerisms? What about what we like? Two different manner of people, right? We don't. Are in thy womb. So it said two nations in her womb. So guess what? We don't. And two manners of people shall be separated from thy bowels. He said, do, do, do separate what? Separate? Separated from thy bowels. So these two people shouldn't be together, right? 
These two people, these two nations should not be together. And we're going to see what. Read. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. These fraternal twins, not identical twins, fraternal twins. You know what that mean? What that mean? They look different, right? They act different because two matter, two matter people, right? Because he said one should be stronger than the other. Read on. And the first came out red, all over, like an inherent garment. And they called his name Esau. So it said two men of people came out red all over like a hairy garment. Let's take a visual. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Hey, soldier, can you come hold this for me? Yes, sir. Can you come hold this for me? We, we want to go down through there. We want to make sure we got it. Because well, pastor came up and said he want to teach the prophets. So we want to make sure he got it. It said two men of people, right? It's talking about the so-called white man and the so-called black man. That's what it's going into. It said two men of people because they hate our guts, right? They don't like us. But we very passionate because we got the spirit of the Lord in us. They ain't got the spirit. They got the spirit of Cain. Yep. But read on. You right about that, man. <laughs> right. And the first came out red all over like an hairy garment. He said the first came out red like a hairy garment. What do they call the so-called white man in the South? Rednecks. Pecklewood. They call them that. Is this hate? Yeah. No. This is coming straight out the Holy Bible. Right. This is what they don't tell you. Say two men of people. Two men of people. But let's read some more about Esau. Read on. And they called his name Esau. And after that came his brother out. And his hand took hold of Esau's heel. He said his brother came out, his hand took a hold of Esau's heel, right? Because he took, when he took the scripture, saying it's going to be an intimate between y'all, right? And he's going to touch his, uh, his heel, right? Give me that second edge. Six. Yes, sir. Let me show you something. Because right now, right now, because we were disobedient, we at the bottom. Once we start keeping God's commandments and you know who you are, we are here today to seal you. We are here today to let you know who you are. This is our job. He said, go out to the highways and byways and compel my people to come in. That's come right. into what? The house of the Lord. Keeping his word. The Christian pastor don't have the answer. The pastor lies to the people because guess what? They still take, you take tithes? You take tithe money? I do, I don't take tithes. Your, your church take tithe money? I give tithes. You, you give tithes? So guess what? We have a pastor up here still giving tithes. Still. So he has no understanding. So he shouldn't be teaching. If he don't have the, he shouldn't be teaching. If he don't have the knowledge of God, which is God's laws, he shouldn't be teaching. The word said, hey, his priests, his messengers, his pastors are going to teach you God's laws. That's it. We ain't come to do nothing else but teach you God's laws. If they teach you anything, guess what? It's blind leading the blind. It's a church on every corner, but guess what? They leading them right to hell, right to the destruction. It's a liquor store on every corner. They leading them right to destruction. And if you agree with those things, he just is gifted as him, and he gonna get put to death as well when Christ come back. Jesus. Christ ain't coming back for no lollipops and kisses. He coming back to uh, dig them graves and put people in them in this lake of fire. That's what's gonna happen. So we gotta make sure we on point with, with the Bible, what God say. It don't matter what the man say. We can read now. Let's get this. We don't. This is the book. No, no, no. Read this. This part of you. Part of you. Right here. This for you. This be read. This is the book of Second Ezra. Chapter six and verse seven. Then answered I said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? A when shall the end of the first and the beginning of it that shall follow? So he asked, you, Hey, when is we gonna be in rulership again? Like when is the when is the time that we gonna be back? Because we're at the bottom, right? You know. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born. Jacob and Esau were born, right? You know. Of him, Jacob had held first the heel of Esau. <laughs> For Esau is the end of the world. So now we know we're in the last captivity because Esau is the end of the world. It said that we should be set apart. So why do they go and get us from the west coast of Africa and bring us over here to America to make us a melon pot? It's the Bible. We learned their ways. Now we got to come back and learn God's ways. We don't know God. This is not God. We don't know God in these churches. I, we got pastors out here talking about giving tithes. You're supposed to be keeping that, building up the nation. Where did you read in the scripture where Christ was sitting at the pool pit and people burned Christ's money? Because he, 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 he was finna die. He went out and ministered to the people. The people didn't minister to him. Read on. All right, gentlemen. Oh, I, got another, I got another question for you. What do you teach? 
What do you teach the people? What do you get the people to, to uplift them? What do I preach? Yeah, what do you preach? The Bible. Everything okay. in the Bible. I, everything in the Bible. I do gotta go there, you, you believe in the whole Bible? I'm, I'm, yeah, I believe. When I got saved, when Lord saved me, the whole Bible. So give me uh, Leviticus 21 and 5. I'm going to show you. So I'm going to show you a law. You believe in God's laws? What are they done away with? No, they're still in effect. I'm going to show you a law. I'm going to see if you're a man of God. Because if you can stand here and take these laws, it might be for you because I'm pretty sure you're from the tribe of Judah. God gave Judah, the, he's the lawgiver. So if you reject these laws, you reject God. Because Christ came back and manifest, uh, ma uh, magnified the law. All the Ten Commandments, yeah, they're still in effect. All the ten, it's just the umbrella. Because he said, love God with all your heart and love, and love your neighbor as you love yourself. That's a, Jesus said, I came to fulfill the law. He but, to take away. He, he, he fulfilled part of it. Did he fulfill everything? He did. So he done came back the second time. Yeah, he came back. So he didn't fulfill everything. So that's a lie. You see what I'm saying? Come on, Pastor. <laughs> Come on. You you gonna be lying to the people. You gonna get some some cruel judgment for knowing this or not knowing it, and then leading the people astray. You gotta get your mind right. Come study this Bible, cause right now you unlearned. Free. Oh, okay. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. They should not make bonus upon their head. Neither shall they shave out. The corners of their beard. Should you do that? Is that a law? The what? It's, read again. Neither shall they shave out the corner of their beard, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. Say, so, so you believe you can't shave your face? Never known that. You never. Wait a minute, Pastor. Yeah. You 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 tell me you ain't never known that you couldn't shave your face? Let's get some more, Pastor. Come, come, Pastor, Pastor, come. Come, Pastor. Give me, let me give you two more scriptures. Okay, let me give you two more scriptures. Give me the fringes. Let me give you the fringes. Let me show you something. Because you can't do that, Pastor. You breaking up, you breaking commandments. You breaking commandments. You can't do that as a as a teacher. You are a hypocrite right now. Because you're teaching the word and you're not applying the word. Read. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 37. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel. Because you are uh, uh, the children of Israel. He said, speak unto the children of Israel. Because you might say you black, right? Yeah. But God said you're an Israelite. Right. So you already know who you are. So how are you teaching the people the Bible when the Bible is from the Israelites to the Israelites and from the Israelites? Read on. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation. He said, bid them that they make fringes in the border of their garments. Bid them, command them that they make fringes. What is fringes? What is fringes? What we got on? He said throughout the generation. Are we still generating? Don't we? The genes are still generating, right? So he said, don't hey, throughout your generation, bid them, command that they put fringes on. Can you read? And that they put upon the fringe of the bottles a ribbon of blue. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. What? Of the commandments of the Lord and do them and do them. You gotta do them because right now you want them forgetful here is because, like I said, you said you didn't even know nothing about the fringes, yeah. you didn't know nothing about that, you didn't know nothing about the beard. Well, y'all teach you good. I'm saying, but you gotta come do this right here because yeah. you're gonna get put to death if you don't repent from that. Give me that yeah. Acts 3 19. All right, y'all have a good job. Hey man, hey, repent at the end of the day, keep God's commandments. Christ is a black man, keep the Sabbath day holy, don't bother today. What day you go to church on? Sunday? You gonna church on Sunday? God said you're gonna get put to death by that by that nuclear bomb coming if you don't come out them churches on Sunday. That's a part of the Ten Commandments. Keep the Sabbath day holy, not Sunday. This is the unlearned pastor. These are the unlearned men in our community that we look up to. We gotta take back the community. The young black men, the young Israelites are back. Speaking bold on the corner. Let you know, thus said the Lord. No gimmicks, no buckets, no money, just straight facts, man. Yes, Read that. This is the book of Acts. Chapter 3, verse 19. Read out. Repent ye. Repent ye therefore. And be converted. Be converted by these laws of God. These Christian pastors, all these Jewish ministers, all these motivational speakers are leading the people astray. When we gonna wake up and come back to thus said the Lord. That's your pastor. That's what we got in our communities. That's the same one to go to church on Sunday, stealing your money, looking at your wife, messing with your kids. That's the same type of men. Because they have no laws of God in them, man. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, 
Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.